morning, my friends. Today, can't tell if it's sunny or cloudy outside, but it's definitely something. Definitely a symbolism of the new year that's about to approach. Um, for those of you who have noticed, I have been gone for the past week or so. I have been spending uh, time with my family for the most part. And, um, you know, just haven't been around to actually do my uh, Mornings with Wasek segments. So I'm actually going to talk a little bit about that because it was a very important time for me. Uh, as you may have known, I've gotten rid of my smartphone recently and replaced it with a flip phone, which has been uh, great to have. Um, in terms of just my mental stability and sanity, I'm not sort of confined and uh, addicted to the concept of constantly being online or needing to sort of be connected all the time. So I took around about a week where I was just with family. I didn't bring my computer, I didn't bring anything, and uh, it was... Um, it was a really good experience. Um, and um, what I have to say about it is that once you're sort of disconnected like that for a whole week, you sort of, when you come back, it's a very surreal experience. It's like you sort of realize that uh, what's happening on the internet is not exactly important at all. I mean, it's obvious that's you know, the case already. I feel like a lot of people who are always online already kind of know that, that the internet's kind of a waste of time for the most part. Uh, the benefits that you get from the internet are pretty minor compared to all the bullshit that surrounds it. And I think once you take that break for a while, you sort of come back to it and really realize it. You sort of really understand why that is, which I think is important to note. So I went a whole week without um, any connection. And I have to say, I did have some moments of, you know, I wouldn't say weakness, but I definitely had a lot of times where I was very tempted and very much sort of wanting to sort of look at my phone or go on the internet, go on my social media, etc. cetera. And uh, luckily I didn't really do that. I went, I came back on Christmas Eve um, just because I needed to, do a little bit of work on some things and uh, so I was online for about an hour or so while I was here and then I went back and then finally returned back to my home on like the, the 28th or so um, so overall what can I uh, what I can say about being disconnected like that is that time starts to go by slower um, in the sense that you are experiencing everything that is happening to its fullest. You're not segregating your time between the real world and time on your phone, which was uh, the major thing for me uh, that I noticed that was most beneficial was that I was not uh, living half of, half of a life, which is the main reason why I got off the smartphone was because that's what I felt like. I felt like I was living half of my life you know, with my life, and then the rest of it was sort of through this, uh, you know, cell phone. Um, so to me, that was a really important aspect of change throughout this week was actually being able to live and experience everything, you know, with my family, experience, you know, the holidays, experience uh, being around people to the fullest degree without having to segregate my time. And at this time, I've also noticed how much other people are segregating their time. And I don't really blame them. I was, you know, doing the same thing not less than a month ago. It's nothing uh, to be really ashamed of. It's just the world we live in. But it's, um, I'm not going to say it's depressing. It's just the way it is. But... Uh, when you step out of the headspace of being addicted to your smartphone, you start to realize when other people are doing it, 
because at the same time when other people are on their phones you take out your phone as well and you're sort of sharing that moment of sort of segregating your life sort of living a half-life so to speak so that to me uh, was a huge indicator to me that the smartphone is not really necessary and as I went through the week and realized how little I actually needed the smartphone in terms of actually using it for important things I think the most important thing actually is probably for GPS that was like the main thing that uh, that hindered me um, is if I needed to go somewhere and needed directions for some place uh, having a smartphone is really convenient in that aspect everything else is kind of pointless maybe having a camera um, a nice camera on a smartphone is actually nice as well but uh, it's actually kind of funny because I had the flip phone camera which sort of gives a very low resolution um, it kind of gives its own artistic style so to speak it's kind of like if you were to take a picture on a Polaroid it gives it that kind of weird uh, distant feeling that it's sort of like it's from the past but it's being taken now because not many people have smartphones anymore or if they do have smartphones or flip phones they're not really uh, utilizing the camera so much it's also kind of annoying to be able to upload it online when I'm on my computer because I have to I can't connect it to my computer I have to send it to a friend of mine and then they send it back to me uh, through like Twitter or Facebook <laughs> And then that's how I basically upload my photos from my flip phone. So that aspect is a little bit annoying. But overall, the past week uh, has definitely been a lot more fulfilling for me in terms of experiencing my life. I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm not constantly looking at my phone. I'm not trying to avoid people. I have no reason to avoid people most of the time when I'm with family. There would be moments where I'd be like, okay, I'm going to my room. I'm going to lie down, whatever, and I'll just lie in my bed and stare at my phone for a few hours and then go back and socialize. At this point, I didn't have that ability. Um, what I did do sometimes was like I'd read my book, but that's, you know, you can't really be addicted to a book unless you're reading a really good story, but I'm mostly reading books based off of education and it's hard to sort of get wrapped up in something that's educational, so to speak. But that was basically the only thing I did that was, you know, isolating, so to speak. But I didn't really do it in my room because I could just read anywhere. I'd read in the living room, whatever. And um, it was great to be able to sort of spend time with my family in a real sense, not a, um, a halfway sense where I'm sort of, uh, you know, separating my time with them to sort of spend time on the Internet, uh, you know, basically doing useless shit. So overall, I definitely really recommend anyone, you don't really have to get rid of the smartphone altogether. You could just sort of take a break, see how you feel. Um, definitely helped me a lot. Or not just helped me, it was just good. So anyway, that's all I really have to say. And uh, hope you have a wonderful new year. And I'll see you next time.